Hi everyone. All right, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to be using the program Procreate on the iPad. So first off, uh, you should have already been able to log into your Google Classroom on your iPad. If you haven't done so, please go ahead and click on Google Classroom. Make sure that you're logged into your class period for art and go ahead and open up the cartoon character project photo reference if you have already uh, uploaded your photo reference that you're going to be using for this cartoon project. If you haven't actually clicked on the cartoon project photo lesson, uh, please go ahead and read the instruction here and you're going to go ahead and find an image of what cartoon character you want to draw. So we're going to go ahead and do that on the iPad since I haven't actually found one. So in order to do that, you're going to go down here to the Safari app and you're going to go ahead and click on your cartoon character. I looked up my cartoon character and I found Stitch. And in order to download this onto my iPad, I'm going to have to click it once, hold down. And it's going to pop up the screen here and I'm going to click add to photos. So now that this picture of Stitch is added to my photos, I can check in the photo gallery here and I can see Stitch is opened up here. So that's good. And if I don't want it, I can always click the trash can icon if I want to get rid of it. But let's go ahead and start opening up Procreate so we can actually use this for our assignment. So when you open up the program Procreate, you're going to come to this screen here and you're going to open up a brand new screen by clicking the plus button. So you click the plus button over here and you want to go ahead and make sure to click screen size. Screen size is going to give you the exact size of your screen to use to draw. And the first thing we want to do for this file is we actually want to back out by clicking on the gallery button in the top left corner. And the reason why is because we're going to actually name this file. We're going to name this file by clicking on the untitled artwork title here. And we're going to go ahead and open up our keyboard and we're going to go ahead and type in our first name, last name and class period. So just like this. Once you have written your name and your class period, click done. And this file is labeled with your name. If there's a file that doesn't have your name on here and it's uh, selected as untitled, those files may be deleted as it does take up space on the iPad and these iPads doesn't have a lot of memory. So we would have to start clearing these uh, files up because that's going to be a lot of files and it's going to start clogging up the program and thus uh, cause the program to actually crash. But so long as you have your file already labeled, we're going to go ahead and start putting in the picture so we can actually draw it. We're going to draw the picture of your cartoon character of choice. Notice if you click over here where it says layers, you notice that you have something called layer one and then background colors. So basically imagine each of these as layers of glass that you're going to be using to kind of help you draw on top of each other. So right now we're going to go ahead and put our first layer, which is going to be our picture of stitch. So we're going to go ahead and click on the wrench tool and click add. And then we're going to go ahead and insert a photo. We're going to select our photo from the photo gallery and we insert our picture of stitch from here. Now what you have is your cartoon character and you can uh, click on the corners here to kind of expand or shrink however you want to. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and he's already perfect, but I'll just shrink him down a little bit just for this tutorial here. And of course, if you want to, you can also rotate your iPad if you need to, because you want to draw in a different direction and just make sure to rotate your stitch according to whichever direction that you want to do to draw this picture. But I'll go ahead and just hold it like this for now, because this is the video and it needs to be horizontal. Okay. So once it's set correctly, I'm going to go ahead and deselect it by just clicking on the layer tool. So now Stitch is on layer one. What I want to do is that I want to actually lower the opacity, which is like how um, clear or solid this picture is by clicking the letter N here. That letter N will open up the layers. And right now N stands for normal. What we want to do is change the opacity right here, this little bar, and change this to be a little bit lighter all the way down to like 25%. Okay, so I'm lowering it down to 25%. 
for this picture so that way whenever I create my next layer so to show you guys you're gonna click the plus button up here next to layers now I have another layer on top of it and whenever I draw on here uh, it's gonna show up much more solid while this layer here for stitch layer one is gonna be much more lighter and thus I know which layer I'm drawing on and I don't want to draw on layer one I actually want to draw on layer two so what I'm going to do is slide the layer one to the left and click lock that will prevent me from accidentally drawing on layer one so if I'm like tapping on this there might be a screen that pops up that tells me that locked layer selections and basically saying like oh this layer is locked so do you want to actually open it just say you don't so click cancel and then you're going to go ahead and open up the color wheel palette right here this is the color palette and you can choose um your colors and i'm going to choose a color for my line work because we're going to go ahead and trace our lines for this to make it into our own um coloring sheet here so we click black this wheel here should turn black and we're going to go ahead and click on the brush tool and we're going to go ahead and look for the correct brush we're going to look for inking right here and you can see that there's so many different types of uh, pens here that you can choose from and you can choose from any any of these to trace out your picture but i'm going to go ahead and do inking and i'm going to click uh, studio pen okay just uh for this example here and studio pen basically the way this works is right now you're drawing on layer two so make sure you're selected on layer two and you're going to go ahead and notice that when you make your line if you press really light you get thin lines but if you press hard you'll get thick lines so with the adjustment of your pressure you can get very thick and very thin lines so just kind of practice to see how it looks like and of course you're probably looking at this and you're like oh i have a lot of these lines scratched across i'm gonna have to erase it and you can use the eraser tool right here to kind of erase it or what you can also do is just click undo like this and that's with my finger that i'm just tapping uh two fingers uh once and it uh starts undoing all those lines so I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, start tracing this out and you can kind of see what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully zoom in in the area that I want to work on and just see how like the line kind of like gets too thick. I'm going to adjust the opacity, not opacity, the size. This is the size tool here and I can adjust it so that way it's a little bit smaller like that and I'm doing light pressures to get these lines to appear just like according to the image I'm tracing. As I'm also tracing this, I wanna make sure that these lines are actually connecting with each other. So as you're doing this, just be careful, make sure all your lines are actually connected to each other. And you can zoom in and zoom out. You can also rotate this as I'm rotating this. And the reason why is that my hand, because I'm left-handed, uh, I'm adjusting this according to the flow of my hand to make it more accessible for me to draw. So like, oops. There we go. And if I don't like a line, I can always undo it or delete it. So you can do this here. Whatever makes it much more easier for you to adjust with your hand and your rotation just move the picture according to whatever angle is easier for you to draw and it's just like a piece of paper when you draw you want to rotate your angles and oh another easy trick just to show you guys if you have a tendency to not be able to make straight lines or like your hands are a little wobbly so just to show you an example like stitches ear right here is kind of like large and it's like it's kind of hard to do like a really nice straight line like this uh, so i'm going to show you how you can actually do this to make it a little bit more straighter because i'll purposely wiggle this like my hand is like shaky right here like i can't hold it well that's fine but if you hold it 
like this, just for a moment, it's going to actually arc the line for you according to what the computer thinks that you're trying to draw. So just to show you another example, like right here for Stitch's ear, if I get a little wobbly right here, it'll straighten out the line for me. So I'm just going to undo that and oh, I'm going to try making that a little bit nicer and adjust this here, zoom in, zoom out, and just be able to trace that. And there you go. So, oh, and also you can adjust the brush size for the eraser too. So like I was on airbrush, but I want to go ahead and just do like a inking as well and choose studio pen. So that way I'll get like nice crisp um, eraser lines whenever I'm erasing. So that way my lines can stay nice and neat. So there you go. That's how you're going to be tracing out your picture. And by the end of this, you should have a completed traced out version of your cartoon character of choice that you're going to have completed and you're going to export this image. So that way it is uh, turned in on Google Classroom. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in that tutorial uh, right about now. So let me go ahead and just stop this for now. And just to show you guys, if you want to check to see if your line work actually looks good, just go back to the layers tool here and just go ahead and turn off by clicking the check box on uh, layers one. And you can kind of see that layer one disappear and you can see layer two, which is your line work. So basically whenever you are completed, just make sure to turn off layer one here. And then what you're going to do is with this picture stitch here, you're going to go ahead and go to the wrench tool here. And you can see that uh, we got our canvas size. We got share. We're going to go to share here. And what you want to do is you want to actually save this file as a JPEG to export this uh, to be viewable on Google Classroom. I know sometimes uh, some of you guys are like, wait, what about Procreate or PSD or PDF? Uh, okay, so to explain, Procreate and PSD files are what you want to use to be able to still edit your files uh, in case your actual file on the Procreate program. If this file gets deleted, you can always back it up by uh, downloading it from your Google Classroom if you back it up. We'll go ahead and talk about backing up later on. But let's just go ahead and go to the wrench tool. We're going to export this as a JPEG. It's exported as a JPEG. It's going to ask me how do I want to um, save it as or where to. I can either save this image onto my uh, iPad by clicking Save Image. Or I can go and uh, immediately just click on Google Classroom. And it's going to ask me how do I want to um, uh, put this on Google Classroom. So you can figure out from there how you want to uh, export it. But if you save it as a image on uh, your device, I'll just go ahead and do that just to show you. Save image. Yeah. And export is successful. So therefore, this image is now on here. I can go ahead and just share that and upload it to Google Classroom from here too. Okay. So anyway, so that's how you're going to be able to work with Procreate and that's how you're going to be able to save your file. I'll complete this image and I'll have it uh, posted as an example. But for right now, you guys are going to go ahead and work on drawing out your cartoon character of choice. Once you're done with this, don't forget. Don't forget to also uh, make sure that you do back up your file as a PSD or a Procreate file. So once you are done, please go ahead and go to select choose your image and then make sure to click share. You're going to save this as a Procreate file and a PSD file just in case. So two different files, two different types on your Google Drive just in case that it does get deleted. All your hard work has been backed up before you left today for the class. So I'm just clicking Procreate file. I'm going to click on my Google Drive from here. I want to go ahead and select a folder and I want to select my drive and select the Procreate folder that I have made previously somewhere here. 
And once you have selected that, just make sure that it's there. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. Procreate folder right there. All right. So I'll go ahead and click it. Save here at the bottom and then make sure that everything looks good. I'll click upload and there we go. So export is successful.